Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And this is a first of a series of videos that we'll be doing on the Doogee X96 Pro. This is the unboxing video of the Doogee X96 Pro and we'll be following it up tomorrow with a setup video where we go through the full setup experience of the device and then we'll do some extra videos to show you how it performs. That performance is something that will be very interesting to see because this is the first device that I'm going to be unboxing, using and reviewing which has a Unisoc chipset. So yes, it's not a Qualcomm or MediaTek or Huawei chipset. It's a company called Unisoc, and I've really never heard of that. So we'll see how that works out uh, in day-to-day -day use. To make you aware, this is a very affordable smartphone. I purchased mine, including all taxes, uh, for around about £80 sterling. So in terms of competition, this is likely to compete against the Nokia 1.4 of which we're currently doing a giveaway here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. So I'm going to use my Jerry Rig Everything Knife to cut into the packaging. I had a choice of three colors of devices uh, for the Doogee X96 Pro. I went for the most in-demand one, which is Brick Red. So I, I do have a soft spot for red smartphones, as long as they're properly red. Let's see what this Doogee is like. As you can see, the packaging has some colorful representations of the device on the front. This does have full Google Play certification, which means you have the Google Play Store and you'll be able to use it uh, for any actions that require Google Play services. Now, first things first, uh, the device itself is in a plastic bag. We'll look at this in a moment. Let's see what else is in the packaging. So if I lift up this, so we have a UK charger, uh, sorry, an EU charger in this case, not a UK one. So it is a normal European two-prong charger with USB type C on one end. Let's see if we can see any details here. So this power adapter is 5 volt at 2 amp. It's a 10 watt charger. It's not the fastest, but then again, it's not the slowest charger. Doogee include a user manual with a QR code to scan the further uh, functionality. And it's a well illustrated instruction booklet. I'm sure we'll read that later. And then we have a power cable. In this case, it's USB type A to micro USB. Now be aware, obviously this is an affordable device, but still in 2021, I would expect even the most affordable of devices to start coming with USB Type-C. The good news is if you have lots of accessories and chargers, maybe in your car or elsewhere, which use micro USB, um, that's covered. But as of this point, I think it's no longer something that I will consider positive if they have micro USB on their device, even at this affordable price point. Now, let me take this sticker off. And I have to say, this is impressive in terms of its color and look. So this is the Brick Red Doogee X96 Pro. Now it has four cameras, as you can see, and a fingerprint scanner embedded in the back of the device. I really like the positioning of these fingerprint scanners uh, because they're ergonomically very easy to get to. And also you can feel them without having to look at the device, unlike some of the on-screen ones, which are more difficult to identify where you need to put your finger. With these back-mounted ones, I'm quite happy. Now, if we look a little bit uh, more in detail at the cameras here, you'll see that there are four cameras on the back. These mimic uh, the cameras we've seen on other smartphones, uh, mainly the higher end Samsungs and Huawei's and so forth. In this case, there is uh, quite an interesting setup. Overall, there's five cameras, four on the back, one on the front, a selfie camera. 
The main camera is a 13 megapixel one. Uh, there is also a couple, well, actually three sticker cameras, a depth camera, uh, a macro camera, and uh, an extra sub camera for depth perception. Uh, so there we go. Realistically, there's only one camera you'll use on this. And then there's a selfie camera on the front. Uh, this uh, should be a, another 13 megapixel unit. Um, but, oh no, apologies, that's an 8 megapixel one. And it's a water tear, teardrop notch. Now, the great thing is here, Doogee have included a screen protector. It's already been applied. All you need to do is take the extra layer off and you have your phone with a screen protector already applied. It seems to be well applied and it's ready to go. Now, just looking at it in a bit more detail, the back of the Doogee X96 Pro has what looks like a glossy back but that glossy back underneath it has a textured finish so you can just see the grain of the textured finish and that also enables the gradient from this sort of almost magenta red at the bottom in my view to an orangey red at the top and a gradient that goes between the two it is quite eye-catching for an affordable device in this price category now there's a power button and a volume rocker on this side. At the top you have a courage port, that's a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And at the bottom you have micro USB, your speaker grill and your microphone hole. That's it. So overall, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. Now let's take a quick look at what the Doogee screen looks like. So it's Doogee powered by Android. In this case, it is Android 11 that you have on running on the Doogee X96 Pro. But let's have a look at that LCD screen at the front. So in this case, it's a six and a half inch diagonal display. There is, in this case, a 720 by 1600 pixel display, which means it's a long aspect ratio and it's 720, it's full H, it's not full HD, it's HD ready. And in terms of color reproduction and visibility, there doesn't seem to be any leaking of the edges. It seems to be all quite good. So we'll go through the full setup uh, in the next video, where we'll also be inserting a SIM card and a memory card, because this is expandable with uh, micro SD. The Doogee X96 Pro, as I purchased it, has four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage and expandable with micro SD. So I do have an extra card for that. But I'll leave you for now with this video. This was just a quick unboxing and hardware overview of the Doogee X96 Pro. We will be doing a follow-up video for the setup. So be sure to be subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube and have that bell notification on as well. And well done if you identified the secret code that gives you an extra entry in our, in our Nokia 1.4 uh, giveaway competition. Check that video out on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye from me.